All right, there's a pretty cool part that uh, is coming up in the Silmarillion right now. Uh, so, as we mentioned before, of course, Feanor has been killed, and then Maedros was captured after trying to um, uh, assault, uh, you know, uh, Morgoth's forces. Um, and at this point, uh, Fingolfin uh, has come over the ice and has come into Middle Earth. And at this point, it was with the after the moon had already come, and uh, and it was with the rising of the sun. And so, as the sun came up, all of Morgoth's forces fled beneath the earth because of the sunlight. You know, um, they they couldn't handle it. Uh, and um, so Fingolfin was completely unopposed as he marched through um, uh, through Middle Earth right up to the gates of Angband uh, and sounded his trumpets. But um, he saw that trumpets alone were not going to be able to bring down those walls. So he withdrew and he went to look for Feanor's sons. Uh, and even though his people had no love for the sons of Feanor, uh, they were still pretty upset about the um, abandoning them uh, and making them cross the grinding ice by themselves. Um, and at this point, then, so they were all around Lake Mithrin, uh, and um, make, make, blah, 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 Lake Mithrim, sorry. Uh, and at this point is one of the most valiant things that ever happened. Fingon, son of Fingolfin, uh, without any counsel or anyone telling him, you know, giving him any advice or anything, he just went right up into, um, went to Angban, uh, climbed into the, uh, the Iron Mountains, uh, looking for Maedros, uh, because a long time ago they had been very good friends, and he couldn't find him anywhere, and in defiance of all the orcs and, and evil forces and everything, he took out his harp and started to sing a song, and he thought all hope was lost, but then faint he heard a song, uh, he heard a voice take up his song, and it was Maedros uh, from up in the cliffs. And so, because uh, if you remember, um, Morgoth pinned his wrist uh, to the, the sheer side of the, of the cliff, uh, to hang there, and uh, so then uh, fin, uh, Fingon went up and he found him, uh, but he couldn't get up there, and so uh, Maedros begged him, just please, just take him out, just take his life, so he got his bow and his arrow, and he said a prayer to Manwe, um, and Manwe answered it, he, he hadn't completely forsaken the Noldar, he sent um, Thorondor, the, uh, Thor Thorondor, the um, mightiest eagle, 30 fathoms wide his, his, his wingspan was, and then he stayed his hand so he didn't shoot down Maedros. He took him up there, uh, but he could not get he could not get his hand loose. And so again, Maedros was like, "Just put me out of my misery, please." But instead, he severed his uh, severed his wrist um, and cut him loose uh, and took him back uh, to the rest of the people. So it was a pretty cool, adventurous, brave uh, thing that Fingon did. So. Uh, all right, Stephen Colbert, I want to talk about Silmarillion and Tolkien and Middle Earth and all that good stuff. So hit me up, please. Thank you.